Here we go again. Yes, I will provide you with seven more business ideas that you can start in the coming year and grow them fast. Moreover, I will not provide you with just random business ideas I have found on the web, but I will provide you with those business ideas that I spent personally tons of money on and I see them flourish in my local community. So this time it's nothing related to online businesses and the person who inspired me to do this one is a godfather to one of my sons who launched his third brick and mortar business and he is becoming successful at it. And he produces and sells wooden platforms like who would have thought? As an IT person, I have always been focused on online businesses, IT businesses, home-based careers and such. But lately I have noticed that there are a lot of brick and mortar businesses like here in my local community who start small and then grow like crazy. So if these ideas work in third world countries, they can definitely work in developed countries. Hi, my name is Olga. I run a software development agency on this YouTube channel where we discuss everything related to home-based career and online businesses. So subscribe if you haven't already to not miss the new comings. And if you're a veteran here, welcome back. The first brick and mortar business you can start in 2020 is bakery. If you enjoy baking, there is a huge customer base of those who love baked goods out there. That means there are plenty of opportunities out there for entrepreneurs to build businesses around baking. And there are so many options here around bakery, for example, birthday cakes or wedding cakes. I personally know several women out of my local community who make their full time living out of baking birthday and wedding cakes. And some of them actually brand their business and grow their business. And their cakes are not like uh, low in price and people do order them because they are good quality and they, they can be customized according to each uh, event and they, they really do a good job out of, out of this business. And I personally order birthday cakes from uh, a person from my local community. You can bake pies, donuts, some organic stuff, some vegan stuff. And here in my local community, again, we have a network of those bakeries already. They started small and they now expanded, like they grew like crazy. And they actually, uh, they establish small shops near schools, kindergartens, near bus stops. And few mothers won't buy their child a fresh baked bread when being asked so. So they like flourish and they, I see more and more shops openings in the streets around uh, um, all the places where children are gathered and yes people make a really good thing out of this business same works with food trucks and coffee carts again I see it all over the place here they started small like with few trucks with coffee and cocoa and all this stuff and now I see these uh, these vegans all over the place and of course again they focus on children, they, they uh, establish those wagons near schools, kindergartens, near playgrounds, because most moms would not uh, object to treating themselves with a cup of tea or a cup of hot coffee that is freshly uh, prepared for them and they won't object to buying their kids a cup of cocoa along with some donut. So really this business flourishes here and I'm pretty sure that it will flourish in every city where they have uh, people who walk, enjoy their walking near playgrounds and they, they, they will treat themselves and their kids with a cup of cocoa, with some donut and yeah, these food wagons and coffee stops, coffee trucks, they become really, really popular right now. Another business that I see being successful here and to which I contribute a lot by being a customer is amusement park. People might not have time or money to entertain themselves, but they will definitely find time and money to entertain their kids. Amusements part keep kids busy for a couple of hours and their parents happy. And it doesn't have to be very expensive in setting up. Of course, it depends on where you live. It, um, uh, it's easier in warmer uh, climate and you have to be creative in like colder climate. But here in my local community, where we have uh, warm months from April till late October, it's easily done. People buy a few bouncy houses, few cars on the radio and some labyrinth and here we go. So they are ready to pick up your money and keep your kids entertained. This brick and mortar business, it's a lot of my budget for sure. And my advice for you, if you want to make money, build brick and mortar business that is focused on kids because 
that's how things are. We might not find time and money for ourselves, but we will definitely find time and money for our kids. That's just how things are. By the way, have you ever tried offline businesses and have you ever thought about starting some of them? And which business do you find the most attractive? And another comes naturally and that is daycare center. Again, this is something that could never be replaced with online initiatives. People have take their kids somewhere and uh, they yes, they need places where they can take their kids to and go to work and make money. So if you live somewhere like myself in a dense populated city with few kindergartens, few state kindergartens and few options as to private kindergartens, that could be a gold mine for you. Like we have several private kindergartens here and they are overpopulated already and new kindergartens and new daycare centers are being opened, you know, on a monthly basis here. And uh, yes, they, 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 they become more and more popular here. And this could be, again, this could be a gold mine for you if you understand how to start this business and if you enjoy working with kids. Another one, again, comes naturally and that is children's development centers. And again, the options here might be numerous. Those could be early development centers where uh, they take kids from the age of one year and they uh, develop the kid uh, through some games, playing, you know, so some sort of activities. And there are a little bit uh, development centers that are focused on kids starting three and four years old, for ex and they teach they teach children how to read, how to write in a playful uh, mode, uh, how to learn uh, and uh, how to learn foreign language, and they do teach them foreign language because. For example, here in Ukraine, we speak two languages. It's Russian and Ukrainian. And yes, the, the child has to speak two languages from the very start where all of, all of us are bilingual here. And um, children start learning English uh, starting the age of six when they start going to school. And uh, yes, so at the age of six, they have to uh, to, to speak three languages and at the age of 10 they have to take another language that could be French or German. So parents try to play ahead and teach their children foreign languages even before they start going to school. Other options could be children's centers for kids with development issues. For example, where they have speech practitioners and special tutors and special teachers who uh, try to work with kids, try to work with their development issues and help them develop and grow. Again, there are more and more children with different sorts of development issues like autism and uh, ADHD. Uh, and uh, there are more and more kids that require help. So if you can find qualified staff, highly qualified staff who can help these children to develop and become uh, members of our society and yes, help them live good normal lives, that could be another gold mine for you. And again, I'm speaking this, all of this from my own experience. I know a lot of people who require such services and uh, yes, yes, I, I do know that this is in high demand as of now. The next business I found to boom in my home city is dance studios. For some time, they, the, for some time the industry were, were not like uh, very active, but then those dance studios started appearing all over the place. And again, they have the clientele, so it means they run their business and it works for them. And again, those that are children oriented make more than those that are adult oriented. But again, it depends on what you can propose uh, what, in terms of services. Because again, parents find time for their kids, but they might not find for themselves. And again, I personally use this, uh, the, the, this uh, service. I take my kids to dance studios and if I had more time, I would be happy to attend myself. So another option could be some fitness studios. For, for example, for women, because women sometimes are shy and they do not like gyms where there are a lot of men and they, they feel themselves uncomfortable. So if you can open some small fitness studio for women specifically, then again, this could be another idea that will flourish. Another option is photo studio. And again, this, this business, brick and mortar business, have resurrected itself from the ashes. Because nowadays we all have our cameras, our 
uh, iPhones, our mobile phones, and uh, most of us can do pretty nice pictures ourselves. So if you decide to start uh, some uh, photo-related uh, business, then you should be really good at what you do. You should not only have perfect lighting, perfect camera, some nice setup, just, you know, not just uh, some green screen or, or, or something. You have to create some, something interesting so that people come to you and of course you have to teach other people how to you know sit in the right position what to do yes you have to make people look their best and that is a hard job to do i do know that and i personally i use photo studio services when i uh, decide to renew my social media photos by the time by the way it's time for me to renew my social media photos and you will be the first to witness that so what is it that i'm trying to say in this video well it's simple that opportunities lie everywhere you just have to look around and see what your local community needs and again you should understand who lives in your local community who your target audience is what their pain is in my community, again, this is a dense populated city with lots of kids here and of course any business that you will start and that will be directed to children will flourish. But if you live in other type of community, consider what you can offer to the people that you're living with. Another advice I'm trying to give you is that there are a lot of opportunities made in, uh, on brick and mortar businesses. So do not limit your thinking to online businesses only because there are a lot of money made offline and you should consider that if you think of starting some sort of business for yourself. For myself, I do admit that I consider starting some offline business further along the way when I'm done with all of my current projects and all of my current ideas because I feel that there is a little bit of a less mental stress in offline businesses and this is something I feel that I need because as a person who worked all her life with her mind and with her mental abilities I feel like I need a break and I need to shift a little bit but that is only after I finish all of my current projects. If you feel like brick and mortar businesses are something that you would like to start with Make sure to grab my list of 30 more business ideas that you can start today. Most of them are offline businesses. So grab that template if you haven't already and let me know what you think of it. Of course, do subscribe if you haven't turned on the notification bell to be the first to watch my next videos. Give me a thumbs up and comment on the video. I would love to talk to you. Thanks for watching till the very end. Have a great week, have a great mood and see you next Wednesday. Bye.